Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is night 359 of Games of Dumpster Diving. As you can see, there's a PS3 box here, and I'm freaking excited. I'm freaking out right now. Like, I'm shaking. I'm that excited. This thing is super duper heavy. I think there might be a PS3 or something related to those lines. Maybe an Xbox 360, maybe a Wii U. There's something in here that's heavy. It could be a box full of bricks. I don't know. I don't know what's inside the box, but I'm freaking out. Also, a bag right here that's actually already an open bag. Bag. It wasn't even like tied off or anything. I'm just seeing a bunch of drinks and stuff inside. So this bag isn't that heavy. It's it's decent. I see a case. It's a PS4 case, baby. Oh yeah. Okay. So there is something in there at least. But uh, either way, just a bag. And we have a PS3 box. Let's get into this. But before I do, can we hit like 4,000 likes? That would make my day. And also, oh, I don't know. I really want to get into it so bad. Ah, it's gonna be amazing. I hope it's gonna be amazing. I hope I'm not disappointed with this. Like, when I found this, I'm like, oh my god, this thing is like... I was like, I can't pick it up. Why is this so heavy? I rattled it around. There's something inside. Like, I was like, oh my god. Oh, it's even closed, too. So that's a good sign. Usually what that means is that they'll, like, the employees will, like, put something inside of here. They'll close it up so when they throw it out, all the stuff doesn't, like, fly all over the place in the store and stuff. So they can just, like, take it and just chuck it in the dumpster. That is amazing. So let's pop on into this. PS3 box. Oh, last time I found a PS3. I think this, if, if there is actually a PS3 in here, this will be my third one. Oh, I'm hoping it is. Oh, I'm really hoping it is. I don't want to make you, I don't want to get this, oh, I just don't want to be disappointed. I'm really hoping it's going to be something good. Oh, come on. Even an Xbox would be fine. Anything freaking cool. It's not, there's definitely, like, it doesn't feel like there's games in here. It feels like one giant lump. Like, it feels like there's something giant in here. Yeah, whoa. Yes, I was right. It's a flipping PS3. No way. Oh, man. I don't see any controllers or anything with it. Oh, my gosh. Another one. Another one. I just found one of these like a month or two ago. Holy, oh, my God. It's an old one. It's, it's a fat. It's a fat PS3. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, there's actually something else in there. There's a, uh, a gift card. That's... I maybe I'll try it out. I mean, it was with the box. Maybe I love how like I can't believe a freaking. Is this the, this is the slim version, right? Yeah, this is the PS3 Slim. Oh my gosh! You know what probably happened? Someone probably ended up uh, getting a new PS3 Slim, and they didn't want the fat one anymore. So then they put the fat one in there, and they traded it in, and GameStop didn't want. Look how nasty and dirty this is. Look at that. That is really, really nasty. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, wait, what? Why is it all bubbly? What is this? Is that a, uh... Oh, they never freaking took off. Whoever owned this never took this. Look how clean that is. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, yeah, that is amazing. That is like brand spanking new. Oh, man, that is nice. You can see where the button is. It was all like ripped and bubbled. That is, oh, it's so dusty. You gotta get all this dust off here. This isn't the one that opens up right here. I can't do it. It's got the two USBs that are jacked up. Really, really nasty. Oh, my gosh. Let's check out what hard drive is in this bad boy. I don't even know what size. Like, look how scratched up that thing is. We have the hard drive on the top, but no, the bottom here. I'm still a little new to PS3s. I've never actually really owned one before uh, dumpster diving, so... Let's see what we have here. That is most likely, I believe, this kind is like a 60 gigabyte, maybe. I could be wrong. Also really dusty in there. I literally just made, like, it was very recently, I just made a PS3 cleaning video of how to clean a PS3. If you guys want to know how to clean one of these bad boys, the fat version of the PS3, the old version, link in the description below. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And for all you people out there who say, like, hey, why do you spend so much time talking about one thing that you find? This is a freaking awesome find. This is amazing like there's no other words that can like describe it it's epic it is freaking epic to find one of these like in its day people paid hundreds of dollars for this console and tonight i got it for free that you can't beat you can't beat that no matter what even though it's really old it might work all the ps3s i've found the first two ps3s i've ever found they worked so i wouldn't be surprised if this one works too that would be amazing but like look how like nasty it is in there oh man it is dirty let's see the back of it we haven't looked at the back yet Ooh. Oh, I think I just damaged the front of it on the bricks. No. Uh, we got the uh, HDMI. We got all the other stuff. Ethernet, power. There is no 
plug. It didn't come with a plug or anything, but I definitely have extras. I want to see the front of this. I hope I didn't... Oh, I bugged it up a little bit. Oh, man. It's not going to focus on that because it's so tiny. But uh, I don't care if I bug the back of it up, but right there. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so pissed. Okay, I gotta put this like on the grass. The grass is not wet. It's pretty cold out. So also, I'm I'm rocking the whole sweatshirt, uh, the sweatshirt with the sweater thing again. So you guys are gonna be seeing this a lot more because it's getting colder out. So I'm probably gonna wear the same setup every night, the dumpster gear, I guess. But uh, either way, the grass really isn't wet. It's just kind of uh, cold. It's like <sighs> I don't know if you guys can see my breath. It's it's chilly. But uh, either way, let's get into this bag. There's definitely that PS4 game. Let's see what it is. We have, ooh, also I wanted to keep this as well. That is amazing though, you know what? There we go, that's how it's done. Put it on the box that I found it in. That is amazing. Uh, need for speed, payback. Oh, there's a sale, probably for Christmas. Ah, I was gonna say maybe if there was a sale, I got it, but no, it's not in there, sadly. $40 game too. Is this the new one? I'm not too sure, I don't play Need for Speed that often, or really haven't played it in a long time, years. So, uh, i seen something right here. Ooh, it's just a uh, disc case. You can put any kind of game in there. That's pretty cool. I'll keep that. I'm going to rip it either way. I seriously just like ripping the bags. Like, I don't even care. Even though it was open, I like to rip it either way. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's a nice Starbucks. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, oh, do you guys see that? That is a freaking bag. That's a return bag right there. I can I can sniff these out, like you guys don't even know. Do you guys remember from like older videos? If you're new to the channel, you, you probably don't remember, but when I used to do this all the time, there used to be people by the holidays last year who would literally buy stuff and they would return games at the same time. They'd put them in bags like this, like regular like bags from like your local supermarket or whatever. They'd return them in those kind of bags or like Walmart or just anything. And oh my gosh. And you find bags like this. There's a cord inside. This is a return bag right here. Tonight is legendary. A flipping PS3 and returns. Okay, nothing in there. Oh my gosh. Returns. And most likely those games are in those cases. Oh my gosh. Splinter Cell Conviction. Oh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Let's see what else. Oh, oh, whoa, what is that? That's it in the rest of the bag. Whoa, it's an Xbox 360, like, uh, what are these called, like, Bluetooth, like, uh, earbud. It's a, it's a freaking chat pad. As you can see, this is all used up. I think this is what goes on your ear. Uh, so I probably really don't want to touch it too much before I sanitize it. It was probably on somebody's ear. But, uh, oh, that is so flipping cool. Oh, this thing is so cool. See, I've never, I never really had stuff like this when I grew up, like cool technology like this. So whenever I find stuff like this, I'm always like, this is so awesome. Because it really is. I mean, even though this has been out for a while, I always, I used to have like really crappy headsets that I'd only be able to listen to, like chat into the headset, no game volume. I had to play the game volume on the television and like just all that kind of stuff. And see, seeing stuff like this is just like, it's amazing what people have today and like what people throw out is just incredible. It, it's for the bad reason. It's not, it's not good to throw stuff like this out. If you have old stuff, donate it. Like, ah, it's crazy. Still cool though, because now I get to keep it. So <laughs> I'm really excited about that. And this looks like this is probably the charging cable for it. Uh, that's if it works though. It might be broken. So I understand if it's broken, that's why I threw it out. But uh, like it's a USB to that little nipple thing. I don't know what it is, but where would you plug it into? Oh, you plug it into the top. Yes, that is a charging plug for it. It should go in just like that. Yes, that is awesome. That is freaking cool. NBA 8, I'm guaranteeing you guys 100% that this is actually in the case. It's a sports game. Sport games are usually always in the cases. And I was right. NBA 08. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, did I just say NBA? Madden. I think I said MBA. I don't even know. Madden 08, I'm about to say, is actually in there. That's freaking awesome. Over here as well, Splinter Cell Conviction. Modern Warfare 3. I love Modern Warfare 3. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've never found this game before. I've never owned this game, by the way. So that is amazing. That is awesome. Freaking exciting. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Yes. And let's see the condition of this game. I just want to see it. Ooh. That's actually not that bad, to be honest. That's way better than a lot of other games I find. That is flipping awesome. Three games tonight. Plus a little earbud thing, which is awesome. Let's see if there's any more returns in this bag. 
Ooh, ooh, another case. And this bag wasn't even that heavy, to be honest. Forza Horizon 2. Oh, not in there, just the keys. I love seeing games in bags, though, that are inside of a bag, because that usually means it's a return, so the games are usually guaranteed to be in there. There's like a bunch of DS cases as well. Move some of that garbage out of the way. We have, oh, I just found this last night. <laughs> so we got two of these now. That's awesome. Not in there. Modern Warfare Mobilized. I just found one of these recently as well. Not in there. And Hello Kitty. Also not in there. I'm not expecting these games to be in those cases. Uh, they usually aren't, so that's why I'm saying that. But, uh, ooh, what's this? We have Xbox Live. This is old. That's the old Xbox Live symbol for Xbox 360. That's the trial. Oh, the full game would have been connected to this, I believe. Oh, this is for display only. Never mind. That's kind of cool, though. I'm actually going to keep that. I think that's, I don't know, I just like the way it looks. I'm also going to move some of these cases over here as well to make a little bit more room. Got the Agua bottle. I haven't been finding rubber bands as often. I used to find so many rubber bands. Where are all the rubber bands? Oh, oh Grand Theft Auto. Ooh, this is freaking heavy. This is so heavy. It's also got a power-ups reward thing on it. Can we see it? <laughs> it's cracked right there. I think it's in there. It's really, oh, it is. It's, oh, it's got the map and everything. It's broken over here. Liberty City map. Oh my God, Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PS3. That is amazing. Holy camoly. Tonight is a freaking mega haul. This is a jackpot right now. This is crazy. Oh, I got some sauce in here as well. There's just so much in this bag. It's crazy. Got a sleeve here for Resident Evil, but it's obviously, I think it's a promotional display only. Even though that's kind of old though. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City came out a while ago. Yeah, for the 360 and PS3. That's an old promotional thing. There's a lot of old stuff in this bag. Throwing it old school, even though it's not really old school, but still. I'm not really seeing anything else in this bag, to be honest. I usually, uh, even though I don't go through the bags like all the way, I do it the most I can for the video, but uh, I just don't want to throw all the trash all over the place because there's just so much to clean up. And uh, either way, though, at the end of the video, when I turn the camera off, I usually go through this once more to make sure I didn't miss anything. Sometimes uh, I have missed stuff, and you guys have let me know, so I do thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for supporting the channel tonight was freaking amazing so much goodies it's ridiculous like look at all this stuff these games are all in these cases besides the ds games for the most part so to recap really fast we got three ds cases trials fusion thingamajiggy uh or trails or whatever yeah we have this right here for the xbox 360 arcade and whatnot uh yeah but there was is the game on here or what well, didn't it say i think it's oh no yeah it said for display only okay no i was looking i'm like is that an actual game but no it's display only i said that like four seconds ago <laughs> madden 08 is inside splinter cell conviction is in there modern warfare 3 gta 4 four freaking awesome games uh ps4 case not in there or the game's not this game's not in here as well this xbox 360 chat pad thingabajiggy like the uh, uh chat headset that's what i wanted to say and this thing like moves back and forth that is really cool uh, and this thing looks like it's ripping apart and stuff. That's probably why they threw it out. It is kind of deteriorating. But uh, either way, this thing to hold the CD and the freaking best find of tonight, a PS3. I've had a game to play on the PS3 if it works. So I'm definitely going to try that out. And what's really cool about finding consoles, you never know if there's a game already inside. That's why I love finding these. I literally have found consoles where there's games inside and I open it up. It's like, whoa, that's a game. It's like the icing on the cake. It's freaking awesome. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you really, really enjoyed. You can watch the last video over there most recommended over there subscribe to the speedy gamer and subscribe to the speedy diver i love you guys so much you are the best fans out there i absolutely do love each every each and every single one of you there we go i was trying to go with the fingers but it's kind of difficult to do that i don't know why i think because it's cold my hands are starting to cramp up but either way thank you for watching i love all the support on this channel so so much thank you for watching for the seventh time and i'll catch you guys on the flip side